Hi, welcome back. In this lecture we are going to define the actual work, as I like to call it. What are the actual actions that we need to do in order to accomplish this project? In my situation I have a mobile application, so here we need to develop it. No matter of how nice is our design, how great is our marketing, the solution has got to work. We need to implement it. So I will go ahead in three minutes and write that. If you are opening a coffee shop, then you may need to actually make the place available for your for your public and everything related to that. So go ahead and list them down. If you have any other kind of business, go ahead write everything else that can count as an actual work. For my example, I write down exactly yeah, what I have to do in this project, and that is development and testing create the front-end part, create the back-end part. If you're not a developer or you don't have anything to do with the IT projects, don't worry. I'm not going to bore you with more technical details. But I will tell you that I take each functionality and I'm writing down exactly what I need to do about that, that functionality to become reality. Now, if you have a class, let's say you are a teacher, you prepare for a class, then you have to actually to prepare. Now, how do you prepare as a teacher? You create an outline, you detail the outline, you say what exactly you want to teach, how you are going to do it, is the class plan. And this is exactly what you are going to write in this, uh, in this project plan. I will prepare the class plan or I will prepare the materials if you have some handouts, if you have some exercises then you will have create exercises. This is going to be your the actions that you are going to write down in this moment. Create exercises, create the evaluation criteria, create the evaluation matrix based on how you score the students for that particular exercise. Or if, let's say, you have uh, a website that you are creating, then we'll be uh, getting, create, getting the domain, creating the website, populating it, uh, check it on different browsers. All this information is what you are going to write in this section. That's the actual work of the project plan. If you are studying for an exam, then it's going to be exactly that studying for exam and you can take because you have several chapters you can take study for chapter 8 study for chapter B take an exam simulation for chapter A materials take exam simulation for chapter B materials and those are your actual actions that your actual work then you can take, maybe you have to take a training for chapter C because you realize that you are not that good at it or you want more information or you have to study the materials. These are exactly the actions that you need to write down as part of this section of your project plan. I hope that helps and I'll let you wrap up and I'll see you later. Okay, the three minutes are up. Now, because I know this is a section where we start to remember so many things, a thing that we have to do that somehow didn't fit in any other category before, I would say take one more minute, put on, on paper everything that you have on the back of your head, and then we meet here in one minute.